Barcelona is um, out of Sri Lanka and we are in luxury eyewear the brand. So we've got quite extensive uh, list of products from body, bath, beauty, home aromas and now organic teas as well. Um, we've been in travel retail for the last three years and um, growing pretty fast. Um, Spa Salon currently, um, if you're looking at travel retail, we're predominantly in Asia. Um, Asian airports um, like India, Sri Lanka, the Maldives, uh, KL is where we are at. Apart from that, we do um, some regional Asian airlines as well. But in the coming um, year or so, we're looking at branching out, getting into Europe and maybe towards the US as well. So the past year has been a lot of expansion within the regions we're in, which, is, which I, like I said, is predominantly Asia. Um, apart from that, what we've done is we've brought in the service element in the last year, um, because Spa Salon ha also has a signature spa experience that looks at the, uh, the stakes of products and, and has very unique uh, uh, treatments that go with it. We try to cre create an experience rather than just shows to sell product. Um, any time you walk into one of our spaces, um, you'll straight away aroma is what will hit you. And we've got Spasal and Aromas. And when we do the fully fledged stores, we've got our own music that plays in there. Uh, the lighting is different. So even if you're in a busy airport, when you step into one of our spaces, we want to give you that transforming feeling of a, of a very different, very serene type of experience. Also, what we want to bring in to the travel retail is the fact that we are bringing in this service element and it's not just massage uh, in, in terms of it, it's, it's more um, lifestyle oriented uh, wellness services that we want to bring in. For instance, we have, we have two ranges that do extremely well, one is called sleep and the other is called de-stress. And what we're trying to do for airports is, is do some signature treatments around these. So it's not just a massage, but it's an it's a, it's a, uh, experience that helps you for instance, if, you, if you're getting on the second leg of your journey and you want to prepare yourself so you have good sleep on, on an aircraft, you can come and do a, a sleep therapy ritual with us before you board. And that's the kind of thing we want to do. With regard to growth, Spacelon as a brand is looking quite international in, in terms of entering markets. So we've just come back from doing uh, market research in the US. The, the response to the product was phenomenal. We're very excited about that. So we're looking at possibly entering US downtown in, 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 in about a year's time. And along with that, if we can get great spaces in the airport, we'd like to get in there as well. In the, in the short term, you're looking at getting into Australia, which we think is, is a market that will do really well in. Um, again, it's more about finding the right spaces now. Um, in an ideal situation, we'd like to go in with a, with a standalone so we get to tell our story better, because it's a lot of product for one, and the other thing is it, it works really well if we get to showcase it along with our stories, along with, with the art that we incorporate into the packaging and present it well and create spaces that are experiences rather than just shopping destinations. Looking at 2019, we're very excited. Um, lots of new locations coming up. In terms of product range, something about our brand is that we manufacture all our products, so there's lots of new product coming in all the time. We've got a minimum of four new launches that happen a year. Um, so there's a lot of growth that happens in terms of, of, of our product portfolio, in terms of the locations we're at, both downtown and travel retail. So we're doing interesting and different things even for airlines where we're customizing sets. We're looking at customizing sets to particular airports as well. And being the manufacturer and 
and since there's no one in between, we get to do all that. We get to do things that are very specific to a certain country, which but still bring in our brand values as well. So a lot of stuff like that, a lot of customization, a lot of um, service elements being brought in. Um, we're seeing a lot of growth in our own stores. Um, we're looking, looking at a good uh, year to come.